Okay, okay. Here we go again with the red hearts and flowers and the wholesale commercialization of showing the person you love they matter. So I just want to make a confession here. I am a relationship expert and I hate Valentine's Day. First of all, for many folks, it's a great big setup. It simply reminds them that for most of other days of the year, they're swimming in an ocean of apparent abandonment and it touches off all their natural longing to be seen as precious, but it also touches off all their hurt and despair. So often when couples come in to see me after Valentine's Day, they're in terrible dances of distress. Second, I think Valentine sends the wrong message. It encourages people to show their partner that they're precious once a year. When in fact, we know that if you want a good relationship, you need to do this at least once a week and preferably every day. This can mean a rose occasionally, or even better, it can mean a special hug, a loving routine that expresses how you see and value your partner, like a special kind of kiss when you bring her coffee in the morning, or a call where you use your special name for him. We know from all kinds of research that roses and hearts are nice if they go along with other regular signs of love. We know, but we know that if you want a good relationship, a secure bond, then you have to show up emotionally and reach for each other regularly. You have to get out on the emotional dance floor. It helps if you've learned to open up and share your vulnerabilities as we teach folks in our hold me tight conversations. I guess the other thing that bothers me is it gets so commercialized that it ends up feeling kind of all the stuff around Valentine's Day ends up kind of feeling superficial and empty, kind of like a plastic burger. Don't get me wrong. I say thank you and give my hubby a kiss when he shows up with flowers on Valentine's Day. But I hide out from journalists wanting sound bites and one simple tip to ensure a lifetime of love. So this Valentine's Day, I wanna say, yes, you can learn about bonding and love. We have cracked the code of love. It's not such a big mystery anymore. And we have a science of love. And yes, love can last. And nuts to Valentine's Day.